So what have we done over the last three to four years to improve uh, our internal processes and take advantage of some of the technology that's in the marketplace today? The first thing we've done is we've centralized through self-service. We've gone out to all of our partners, which includes uh, contract holders, as I mentioned, lenders, insurance companies, dealerships, and said, hey, if you submit the information to us online, we can then collapse that information and process your claims faster, do it at a lower cost, and by the way, all that can be given back to you in lower rates and how you're selling your products, right? Uh, so for us, it was a way, it was a two-way street that in order for our users to want to go into a self-service system, they had to see the benefits. The other part of that is the internal side for us is the extraction process. So for us, we get a number of documents and volume. We get about 100,000 faxes a month, right? Bane of my existence, faxes, right? But the reality is we're all in the world of, of faxes these days that still exist. Well, taking the data off those faxes and doing something with them is another critical part of what we talk about. We get emails. We get well over, I think, five to 600,000 emails a month as well. And when our emails come in, it's not just a single document. It could be up to 40, 50, 70 pages because we're getting from insurance companies, evaluation reports, all different disparate data points that we've got to consolidate and migrate into our centralized systems. And then the last portion is really to look at something uh, that we weren't even aware of at the time, but what they call RPA today. Uh, we just called them Kapow robots back in the day, but now it's got a new fancy term called robotic process automation. And at the end of the day, what it really does is it's a lot of migration of that data. You know, as Tom mentioned, it's one of the tools in your toolbox that you want to have available to you. So talking about centralizing the data and making it easier to collect the data, one of the areas that we really saw as a challenge in our organization was the collection of data was happening in so many different locations that as soon as it hit us, it was unreliable, meaning that the source could have been someone who was manually typing it in, putting it in a spreadsheet, Word document, email, fax, physical mail. We had to centralize that as much as possible. And I'd love to say that it's 100% centralized, but it's not. But for the most part, we've really moved to digitize that and convert it from just sort of an individual data point into a centralized location. Once we got it there, we were able to extract the data as we've talked about. Um, including in that is the ability to organize a lot of the documents we get. So for those on the claim side of the world, you know that you get a lot of documents. In order to organize those and put them in a format that you can actually handle and adjudicate these claims, for us it was critical to sort of line these documents up in order in or it, for us to have the ability to adjudicate these faster. And I'll talk about the faster part here in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> moving the data. So on the RPA side, we have a couple of different places where we're moving data. One is internally and the other is externally, and I'll explain those in detail here in a couple of seconds. But the reality is we get data from so many sources internally and externally, we've got to find a way to make sure we're bringing it uh, in-house, looking at it, and then transi transitioning it to what we call our system of record. So I apologize for the graphics there if it's tough to see, but this is actually the full view from a technological perspective of what we do. So the first thing we do is we use a portal to collect everything we can from our customers. Again, the customers can be contract holders, lenders, et cetera. We bring them in. We then take our second stage, which is uh, another product we have uh, that we're using, which is our total agility product, to actually sync up the documents, organize, extract, attach them to claims, and do all that heavy lifting that used to be done manually or used to be sitting in, in folks' folders in email. So now we've centralized it into a repository where we can actually get to those documents and do something with them. And then once we've done that and we've collected all this, we use the RPA process to move it to calculation uh, material where we can actually calculate the claims. So the RPA project, uh, product is taking the data from every one of those documents and all the claim de detail and moving it into a centralized place for us to calculate the claim. Once we've calculated the claim, we use the RPA process again to take that data from that source and then move it into our payment system. So again, we're not manually transposing that data along the way. It's being collected, being moved to a calculation site. The calculation site does its, its adjudicating and then basically moves it to our final system, which is our payment system. The other aspect, that's an internalized approach. The other aspect for us is the external, external side. Today, we have to go out to uh, NADA to capture certain vehicle information when it comes to certain claims that we do. So from our perspective, we use the RPA process to go out to that website, log in, capture all the automobile detail that we need, bring that automobile detail back, and that's also used for us in calculating the claim. So if you look at it for us, it's used both internally across our business processes as well as externally and, and pulling external sources of data back in so that we can uh, adjudicate these claims. 
So what's it done for us? Uh, you know, Tom mentioned a little about some of the business processes and some of the workforce optimization. At the end of the day, we've gone in one of our products, which is one of our key products, uh, the GAP, we've gone from 46 minute elapsed time in adjudicating a claim down to 23. And at least 75% of that work is done by RPA today, okay? We've reduced our error rates by 35% because folks are not transposing information from sheet to sheet, or spreadsheet to spreadsheet, et cetera. System synchronization, now we know that the data we're handling from one place to the next isn't being handled by two or three people, uh, two or three different resources, whether they're technology or not, they're handled by a single resource in the RPA and then handed to our system of record. And then speed to service, all of this ends uh, and, and Tom mentioned the net promoter score. At the end of the day, it's all about customer satisfaction and providing that service. And our rapid claims processing solution has really uh, in, in improved and it's also a selling utility for us as an organization because now we can go out to those dealers and say, hey, you can sell a product where we can turn around the warranties on this within X hours or X days based on what we're using it for. And then of course our reduced call escalations because the information is accurate. Thank you.